just a few people today that I will show them how to mix up the copper sulfate and salt mixture. Probably very precise measurements that should be used. But as you can see, I'm the sort of guy who will just throw everything in the oven and hope for the best. That's the sort of guy I am. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just sort of show you what I do and you can probably get some idea of the measurements. It's going to vary uh, on you know, how many litres you're going to make, on how many etchings you're going to do. Uh, what I find is that when I put plenty of salt in, the first time I stick a plate in, it's really aggressive, it just bubbles up and it's like, first time I did it I thought it was going to explode. Then it calms down and it's okay. And I find that with this mix you can just keep chucking some salt in every now and again. The other great thing about it is, like here's, here's something I mixed up last year. You, see, you leave it for a couple of months in a cupboard, you go back to it, and it's sort of almost like it's replenished itself. It's go, good to go again. Or you just have to serve, you know, chuck a little bit of salt in there and it'll go again. The other question I get <clears throat> is how do you dispose of the stuff? Uh, well, one thing is you just look, put it in an open top like this and just let it dry out. You've just got this powder which you could wrap up and throw in the bin, I guess. <coughs> and the other thing is I, I'm very careful not to chuck this stuff down the sink because uh, I like aquatic life forms and throwing a copper based salt down there. Probably not a good idea. And as for these, this is pretty ratty, but uh, I, I tip it out here, I tip it all back in, I put a bit of water here, I rinse it out, and this very weak, salty solution I just tip outside. Doesn't seem to be doing the garden any harm. Uh, so, yeah, so when it comes to disposing of it, I hardly have to. And that's one of the nice things about it, I just keep reusing it, just chuck a little bit more salt in. It works fine. Breaking down a couple of other lumps, although that will break down in water. Right, chuck in some salt. I sort of think of it as making a coffee with one sugar on a larger scale. Because what you've got here is about that much and up here is going to be all the water. So I'm making up about a litre here. What a pretty blue. Stir it with something wooden or plastic. Don't stir it with anything metal. Especially on a silver metal. And that should give you a really aggressive hitch. You could probably water that down and make two litres out of that. See what happens when I put a bit of a aluminium or as you might say in America aluminum plate in the top here. It's not too bad. As you can see, bubbling away there, itching quite well. Now it actually has now just put like a grey tone on the corner of that. It's like an open bite, it's like an equitint. Because the grain of the uh, 
aluminium, which I don't know if you can see there, it's almost like a wood grain going that way, which just sort of bites unevenly and makes you a nice sort of a dark patch there. I'm just going to add this to this. Which has refreshed the whole thing completely again. I probably won't have to do this for, I don't know, for another six months. The other interesting thing is you will use slightly warm water that bites faster. So you stick this stuff out in the sun, warms up a bit, it's a faster bite.